never easy on the road. No. And, and you guys had a, withstood a, some big punches from Miami down the stretch. No, absolutely. Really proud of our guys. Uh, as you mentioned, you know, I knew this was a proud program. I knew those guys were going to keep fighting, and they did. And uh, I really liked how our guys responded. We had practiced these game situations. It's actually good to be in one, you know, in a real game and uh, see how our guys you know, responded. We talked about how well you guys shot it from three in the preseason. It didn't necessarily show up Wednesday against Robert Morris, but 11 threes today and 41% from three-point range. No, no, we got some guys that can shoot the basketball. You know, our, our job is trying to free those guys up and, and them to just be confident in taking their looks. But uh, the way we play, I think it helps, with, it helps them with that and uh, gets them in good rhythm, and, and our guys have produced. There were a couple of late clock situations that really stood out. Miami had cut it to six, and you guys were really scrambling offensively. Isaiah Adams hits a three with the shot clock at zero, and then Darren Green from that same corner hits a three to make it a 10-point game with a minute to go. What stands out about those two possessions? You know, what we always talk about is having poise on offense and, you know, when everything is going wild and, and the place can be chaotic, just, just slowing down, you know, understanding what we're trying to accomplish. And I thought our guys did that. We penetrated in both those situations. We were able to create penetration and pitch situations. Our guys all trust one another, and they just hit the open person, and, and glad those guys have the confidence to knock it down. You've talked about Darren being a more well-rounded offensive player, and that was certainly on display today. What did you think of his offensive game? Uh, I thought he was terrific. You know, I thought he did a great job, especially in the second half when we needed some baskets. Uh, he made some big plays for us when we were trading back and forth, blow for blow. You know, I was like, get the ball, put the ball in his hands, let's run our actions, and let's go to him. And uh, he delivered. And so I'm just really proud of him because he worked really hard this offseason, and it's great to see someone's hard work pay off. Your depth was tested. Both point guards foul out Darius Perry and Darius Johnson you put in Dre Fuller and he hits six huge free throws down the stretch absolutely and, and Dre's done that for us you have to remember Dre's been with me for a while uh, he had big free throws for us last year so we had confidence that he could be in that moment and, and produce and, and I thought he did a great job of showing his poise and our team you know of course really celebrated him at the end of the game because he stepped up really big for us late what does winning a game like this do for the confidence of, of a team early in the season you know, I think it gives us a lot of confidence. You know, we're still trying to find ourselves. I mean, it's so early. There's so many things we have to work on. And God knows I'm looking at this film probably on this ride back. But, you know, the thing I do like is our competitive spirit. And I know our guys, they want to win. And so it's just a, it's just a function of just continuing to work together, continuing to try to get better. Easier to watch the film after a win, right? <laughs> Always easier to watch the film after a win. But, uh, you know, uh, but, you know, our guys, you know, when you think about, you know, the effort they put out tonight, you know, we had kind of a shorter turnaround, you know, for this game. And I'm just really proud to go on the road and, like I said, beat a team in their home arena. And the crowd got going. I mean, got a little, you know, got a little hectic in here. Guys got a little loud in here. It's great. You know what? It's great to have college basketball like this. You know, I missed it. And I didn't realize how much I missed it until being in an atmosphere like this on the road and realizing how hostile it is. Be a fun bus ride back to Orlando, right? You know what? It sure will be. I think we'll float back to Orlando after this one. All right, Coach. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks.